What's up YouTube? Dylan here with Dylan Some Espresso Bar and today we are going to be looking at the LCD screen that is on the advanced menu of the Breville Dual Boiler. It is something that a lot of people have been asking who owns the Breville Dual Boiler themselves and today I am going to show you how everything works and what is going on in the screen. So if you have liked and enjoyed our channel please hit that like and subscribe button down below as that is really helping and supporting me and my channel so that I can make more great content for you guys each and every day and also to go live on YouTube and also Instagram. So thank you guys so much for your continued support. But before we get to unwrapping and looking what's in the LCD screen, let's roll the intro. Let's jump right into what is in the screen. So as you see here displayed, it's 205 degrees. So right now, because I am using a lot of light roast, I am using 205 degrees because light roast requires a hotter degree and darker roast require a uh, more moderate degree. So around 200 degrees. So now we're just gonna go and click this menu button and it's gonna bring us to the shot volume. Right now it is displaying at one cup. If you click that menu again, you're gonna display at two cups. Now we're gonna to move to the shot temperature. So right now, obviously I have 205 degrees. You can move this down. Um, let's see, it goes down to 190 and it can go all the way up to 205. So really good range there, especially when trying to really dial in that shot with the new beans. So auto start, auto start on and off. So I have really enjoyed using the auto start feature as it is allowing me to come home from work, working overnight, and being able to have my machine already turned on and ready to go. So obviously right now I have it set for 8 p.m. and there's an internal clock, which I will show you back here, which is gonna allow for that to know when to turn your machine on. So right here, it goes to your cleaning cycle. If you haven't caught that last video, definitely go check it out. I went ahead and cleaned and flushed out my group head and all my lines using the clean function and then the manual button will illuminate and it'll walk you through just the process. It'll do it all itself and then by the time it's done after about seven minutes, you're all good to go and your machine's all nice and fresh and clean. So here is the clock. So right now it is 6.37 p.m. So then that is all for the menu when you click the menu button here. So let's just exit out of that. So now that we saw the basic menu LCD screen, let's go ahead and go into the main functions on the LCD screen by pressing the single cup and the power button all at one time. So here you are going to see the display reset. This is going to allow you to set or reset your machine back to factory settings. Next, we have descale. If you're looking to descale the machine after about 200 or 250 shots or so, I definitely recommend to go into the screen here and it's going to be extremely easy. I can definitely do a descale video on the dual boiler. However, this is where you are going to find the descale button in order to descale your machine. Next, we have the set temperature. So you can either have it set for Fahrenheit or you can also have it set for. So if you click here, click menu, you can see that it changes from Fahrenheit to Celsius. So right now I want to keep it on Fahrenheit. So I'll press menu to lock that in. So here is the steam. So this allows you to change the temperature of your steam, which is going to help you and help you with the pressure and also get your milk to steam the temperature the exact way that you would like it. Now we are going to move over to alarm. So right now my alarm is off. I will definitely turn that on. So if we click menu, we're gonna keep that on. Now we're gonna press menu. Now the alarm is on. And what this alarm means is if your machine needs to be cleaned or descaled after a certain amount of shots pulled, 
this is going to alarm you that you need to pretty much maintain your machine, which is very good. So I definitely recommend if you have a machine to definitely keep that alarm button on. So now we're gonna go back into the menu here. Uh, you can also have the sound so you can change whether you hear the loud beep or you hear no beep at all. So that's a nice function if that bothers you. And then volume. So you can either have your shots weighed by volume or you can have your shots done by time. I prefer by time as you see uh, in all my videos and that's because I have the Akaya Lunar Scale to help me with the volume and time as well. So that is the extended menu of the Breville Dual Boiler. I thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any other future recommendations for the video, please let me know in the comments below. Please make sure to like and subscribe to my channel as in all of your support really helps me to make more content and I love and appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.